All right, guys. So this morning, Jaguars center Brandon Linder officially announced his retirement. It was something that a lot of people were expecting. At least we were braced for it. I'll say that. Uh, there was an AP article that came out a couple weeks ago saying that Brandon Linder is currently debating about whether or not to retire. And it came out this morning that he has officially decided to retire. Now, a little bit about Brandon Linder. He played eight seasons with the Jaguars. So and every single season with the Jaguars, it's it's very rare where you get a guy that's played that many years on the Jaguars and starts his career as a Jaguar and ends his career as a Jaguar. Um, so that one's pretty cool. He was drafted in 2014 in the third round of the NFL draft. Um, he came out of the University of Miami, and he went to high school at St. Thomas Aquinas. So he is a lifetime Florida boy. Um, he Now, when you, ask, when, when you ask about Brandon Linder, most people say, great player, but not healthy. And that's been the truth. Um, in his eight-year career, there was only one season where he played all 16 games. Um, each of the last two seasons, he only played nine games before getting injured. And, you know, he was a guy that, you know, he'd get injured sometimes and he'd come back eventually Then he'd re-injure, we, he'd injure another um, body part. And it just, it stunk because while he was a great player, you know, the old cliche, the best avail ability is availability. And that has not been the story of Brandon Linder's career, unfortunately. So, you know, Brandon Linder... He put out a, if you guys want to go read it, he put out on his Instagram basically like a, a, a three or four paragraph goodbye letter. If you guys want to read it, you can. I won't read it here. It's, it's just your typical thank you, Jacksonville community. You had a great time, you know, all that stuff. So you guys can read it over there. Now, what this does for the Jaguars moving forward, it saves the Jaguars $10 million against the cap for this season. That was going to be the third highest cap hit on the Jaguars this year. And what it does is now Tyler Shatley is going to be a starter. Now the question is, will Tyler Shatley be starting at center or left guard? Of course, you guys all know Brandon Sheriff signed a deal to be the right guard for the Jaguars. So um, right now, I think you pretty much have your tackle positions locked down and your right guard. But now center and left guard are open. Um, Tyler Shatley did sign a two-year deal, so he's going to be on the Jaguars for the next two years. It seems like he's probably projected to play center unless something comes in the NFL draft where a really good center falls to you in like the third, fourth round, whatever. And then maybe Shatley kicks out to left guard. But at the moment, Tyler Shatley will be projected to play um, the center position. And a lot of people have been asking me about like how can we, you know, can we go on free agency and sign a center? I mean, most likely no. When you're at this point in free agency, I mean, the the tampering period began two weeks ago today. And, you know, at this point, when you're getting guys, you're just kind of getting middle-of-the-road guys and, and no real impact players at this time. So, really, if we're going to get any upgrade, it's going to come through the NFL draft. And uh, this is something that, look, I mean, Trent Baalke probably knew he was going to retire a few weeks ago, and he probably knew that going into free agency. So I don't think that's something that's really catching them off guard. Uh, but yeah, that's Brandon Linder, man. He came in the, like I said, a 2014 draft. It was a pretty good draft class. I mean, of course, Blake Bortles wasn't the best, but you also brought in Allen Robinson. Marquise Lee was a part of that draft. Telvin Smith was a part of that draft. Um, I believe I believe Aaron Colvin was a part of that draft, too. Yeah, Aaron Colvin, and he did some good things for the Jaguars. You know, a pretty decent draft class outside of missing on a quarterback position, but... And he got Alan Hearns through undrafted free agency that year. So Brandon Linder retires after eight years with the Jaguars. Let me know what you guys think, and go Jags.